Hi guys, today I'm going to introduce you to the payment function. If you haven't used this function already, what this function does is it calculates the loan payment amount uh, given an interest rate, the, a length, the length of the loan, and of course the amount of the loan. So in calculating payment, car payments, calculating uh, construction loan, payments uh, obviously uh, these things are they, they're not just uh, using very simple uh, uh, equations so uh, Excel has a, uh, a good function called the payment function which will uh, take as inputs various uh, characteristics of the loan and will give you the payment amount okay but there's a couple things you have to look out for when you're inputting the stuff to, if you do that properly, you'll get yourself uh, what the bank will give you. So you can also check if uh, you know what the bank is giving you is is the correct amount. But also, you know, this is also a, a starting point for learning more advanced uh, financial formulas and functions in Excel. Okay, so let's get started. So let's say I'm buying a car, and the price of that car is eighty-five thousand dollars. Okay, now. I'm going to make a down payment. Let's say I make a down payment of $15,000. Okay? So my loan amount is obviously going to be the price of the car minus the down payment, right? So I have to borrow $70,000. Okay? So that's the amount of our loan, right? Now we go to the bank. <coughs> And the bank is going to give us a loan for $70,000 at an interest rate of 5%. Now when they give you interest rates, it's on an annual, it's, based, it's, it's figured on an annual rate, okay? So without getting too involved in the, in the, in the uh, nitty gritty of the financial details, an interest rate is generally an annual rate, okay? And usually when we make payments, we make monthly payments. Right, so just keep that in mind because uh, that's going to come into play when we input this stuff. Now, the next thing is the length of the loan. Uh, this loan in years is a five year loan, right? So, the next thing we need to calculate is since we're in this example and in most practical examples, we're making monthly payments, we need to convert this length of the loan to the number of monthly payments during the life of this loan. So if we have a five year loan and we make monthly payments, then it's just gonna be five times 12, right? Because there's five years and each year has 12 months. So we have 60 payments in this loan. So now we got everything we need to calculate the monthly payment amount, which is really what you're interested in to see if you can afford to to uh, buy this car okay so the way you do this is using the PMT or payment function in Excel okay so let's start it up equals PMT open parentheses now once you get more used to using functions you can directly type stuff in here but if you're if you're very new to a function you can always start the function up and then click the little FX over here and it'll open up this dialog box which will take you through the steps and the syntax of the function. So the first thing this function needs is the rate. So here's the rate. We can simply click on it. But we have to keep one thing in mind. That's the annual rate. And when we're making monthly payments, these payments are going to be calculated not on the annual rate, but on a monthly rate. So we have to divide this by 12. So you see simply what I did here. I'll do it again. In the rate section, we click on the annual rate and then we divide that by 12. Okay? So that's our monthly rate for this loan. The next item here is called N per. And as it says over here, it's the total number of payments for the loan. And we went ahead and we did that already. We calculated that there's 60 payments in this loan. Right? One payment a month for five years, 60 payments. Okay. Now, the present value of this loan 
is the amount of the actual loan, right? Now here's a little thing you have to keep in mind with uh, how Excel calculates this uh, payment function. What Excel, when Excel uh, get, returns a value from the payment function, it gives you it in a negative number because it sees it as a an account in, in accounting as a as a num as a a payout. So it's obviously going to be negative. So, but sometimes for your calculations, you don't want it to be negative. So you could simply put negative here, and then click on the amount of the loan, which I highlighted here when we calculated it was seventy thousand. So, if you as you can see here, it's negative seventy thousand. Okay. So again, we click on the amount of the loan, but before we click on it, we just put the negative sign and then we click on that. Okay. Now, as you can see, these are bold, the three things we did here, but the next two are not bold. So these are extra stuff for more complicated situations. And I'm, we're not going to use that, but I'm going to describe them real briefly. Future value is simply if you don't pay, if, if this is some kind of a special loan where you don't pay the full amount of the loan, by the end of the uh, length of the loan. Okay. In this case, we're expecting to pay the complete uh, principal of the loan down by at the end of five years. So we would leave this blank. And lastly, the type is just simply whether we pay the loan in the beginning of, the, of every period or at the end of every period. Okay. So usually, by default, most loans you're paying at the end of each period, okay? But we don't even have to worry about this here, okay? So we've got everything we need, and we can just hit OK, and Excel will give us our payment amount. So here it is $1,320.99 is our monthly payment for 60 months based on all this information we have here, okay? And if we actually do a little side calculation and see how much that's going to be over the course of five years, at 60 months paying $1,320.99, so 60 times that, no, uh, that uh, monthly payment is going to give us $79,259.18. That's how much we're going to end up paying for borrowing this much money. So we borrow in seventy thousand, and we're paying back seventy nine thousand two hundred and sixty odd dollars. Okay, and that makes sense because that extra nine thousand two hundred sixty dollars is the interest that we're paying the bank for lending us that that money. Okay, so obviously we're all aware of of how loans work, and this is just a convenient, simple way to calculate and sometimes just to back check the bank's uh, quote. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Be sure to check out my other videos uh, on my channel, Excel Tutorials. Comment, let me know if there's any other videos you want me to cover. Subscribe to my channel and uh, practice, practice. Okay, have a great day.